Hello. So let's set up a balloon that is attached to line string. Let's start this from scratch so everything will be in their default settings and values. First make balloon. Uh, something like that might be. Let's make it a center. Ah. And then uh, the size that would be maybe good. Okay, name it balloon. Add you still and here to make the knot. Uh, that's okay. Let's move it apart, but in item mode, so the center will be there. The item center will stay there. Mm, a little smaller, it doesn't matter about. Okay, we have balloon. Then we make it a uh, active rigid body. Okay, and now it drops. Let's add force that keeps the balloon up. Okay, it's not enough so we make the balloon a little bit lighter from here mass make it like half okay that's good for now maybe a bit too much force but we'll see it with the line then we create the line Okay, left curve found out that these points should be about the same dis distance from each other because the simulation it calculates the Weight or width of the curve based on these points, and if they are, if there's a big difference, it kind of messes it up. So here is the curve, and let's play. Oh, make it dynamic, make dynamic curves. Now it is simulated, physics, physics simulated, but. The problem is now that the uh, force affects both the balloon and the curve. So we have to take the balloon, solar physics, solar balloon, and linear or do the schematic. And then we cut off this force connection and put it in balloon. So it will affect only the balloon. I don't know if that's possible to do anywhere else than in the schematics. Okay, that's fine. Then we have to add, attach the balloon to the curve. We select both and both items, and then we go here and select this where this CS and make anchor. So it's us to the balloon. Then we select the curve and go to the dynamics tab. And in the bottom we have pin curve to start. Okay. Now it works better. Uh, we can fix this from here. Schneider, maybe that can be also that. And that wiggle, I think 
this angular damping will fix it. Yes. And then we can put those that pretty hard. Okay. So it behaves quite nicely. We can let's make this solve the uh, this balloon this is like it shows the simulated objects. I don't know what the right term. And this ball size is dependent on the distance between curve points. So if they are spread out uneven the ball size will be uneven and then it will be it will not work correctly so we can go to the line dynamics and i think i'll change this uh, if we make it a bit wider then it will it will be heavier but it will I think it will behave better. We can make it lighter. So I think it's quite nice. We can okay, and then we at the wind. Wind, wind is here. It's too strong, by the default, but. I think I put half meters and something very small. Yeah. Okay, it's working now. Whoop! A little too much. So that's it, I think. Whoa, whoa. I hope this was some kind, some understandable. My English is not perfect and I'm a bit tired. But goodbye, goodbye. Au revoir.